So welcome to the video. Today we're going to take a look at how to do a Wilcoxon test on Jamovi. So we're going to use this test when we have a within participants independent variable comprised of two levels and when we have an ordinal or continuous dependent variable. So let's imagine that we're interested in the effect of some sort of intervention on how stressed people feel. So we've got these data here. So we've got data for before treatments and these scores represent how stressed the individuals are out of 10. And the same thing here. So these scores represent how stressed they are, but just after the treatment instead of before. So let's start off by copying and pasting these data into Jamovi. So I'm just going to select the data and then hit Control C or Command C. And then I'll go over to Jamovi and hit Control V or Command V while I've got this top cell selected to paste the data in. We can then just tell Jamovi a little bit about the data. So if we go up to Data and then down to Setup, and then if we click on A here, we can tell Jamovi about this level of the independent variable. So we're going to say that this is before treatment. So we'll just enter before treatment there. And we can specify that we're using continuous data. However, as I mentioned before, we can also do this with, with an ordinal dependent variable. And then the same thing for B, let's select B and let's replace this letter with after treatments. And again, we can select continuous in this menu here. So once we've told Jamovi what the variables are, we are ready to run the analysis. So let's go up to analyses and then down to t-tests and then paired samples t-test. We can then transfer before and after to this paired variables box using this arrow. And we don't want to run a t-test, so that's the sort of default option. So let's untick students here and we can instead select Wilcox and rank here. We can also select this effect size box and this descriptive box here. And that should generate all of these statistics that we need. So we can see that the median score for stress before treatment was seven. And we can see the median score for stress after treatment was four. So to determine whether this difference is significant, we need to take a look at this P bits of the paired samples t-test table, even though this isn't a paired samples t-test. And we want to see that this value here is less than 0.05 as that indicates that the difference is significant. So we have a value of less than 0.001. As this is less than 0.05, we can conclude that there was a significant difference in stress scores before and after treatment. So let's take a look at how to write up these results. So I've got this example here. So I've just said that a Wilcoxon signed ranked, signed ranked test revealed that stress scores were significantly lower after the treatment compared to before. And I've included some statistics here. So we've got the median for after treatment equals four and the median for before treatment equals seven. So as we saw before, that comes from this descriptive table here. So we've got this median column, before treatment seven, after treatment four. We've also got these N values here. So we've got 20 participants in the study. And that's why we have N equals 20 here and we have N equals 20 here. Next, we can report the results of the Wilcoxon test itself. So we've got this value here, W equals 190, and that's coming from this bit here. So W statistic 190, and we've got the P value of less than 0 0.001. And that's what we have here, P equals less than 0 0.001. And finally, I've reported this effect size value here. So this is the rank by serial correlation effect size value. So we can see that there's one. And that's what we have here. And I've said that this effect size is large, and that's based on these commonly used thresholds for describing this value as either small, very small, small, medium, or large. So based on this note here um, that I've included, which isn't part of the results section, it's just to help us understand how to interpret this value. We can see that values between zero and 0.1 are usually considered to represent very small effects. Those between 0.1 and 0.3 represent small effects. Those between 0.3 and 0.5 represent medium effects. And those above 0.5 represent large effects. So this value here is one. Obviously that is above 0.05. 
which is why I've described this effect size value as large. So that's basically it for the Will Coxon signed rank test on Jamovi. Hopefully that was helpful. If you have any questions, just let me know in a comment and I will try to get back to you. Thanks a lot for watching. See you next time.